Turning now to the president's efforts to build the wall along the southern border, the president set to visit San Diego tomorrow. There he will inspect the eight prototypes built for uh, the proposed wall with Mexico. At a campaign rally Saturday, President Trump revealed he's sticking to his promise to have Mexico pay for that, that border wall. We are building the wall 100%, 100%. But the president of Mexico calls. Mr. President, we would like you to make a statement that Mexico will not pay for the wall. I said, are you crazy? You think I'm going to make? I'm not making that statement. He said, well, you have to. I said, is it a deal breaker? He said, yes. I said, bye bye. We're not making a deal. Tomorrow will also be the president's first visit to California since becoming president. Just last week, the Trump administration sued the state of California over its dangerous sanctuary city policies. Joining us tonight, Michelle Malkin, nationally syndicated conservative columnist, author, and host of Michelle Malkin Investigates on CRTV. I did say author. I meant to say best-selling author always. Michelle, <laughs> good to have you with us. The president, good to be with you, Lou. It's great to see you. The president on his way to California to look at prototypes, asserting again in that speech in Pennsylvania uh, Saturday night that... Uh, uh, it was going to it's going to be built and that's all there is to it uh, your thoughts well, President Trump always runs to the fire. You know, Jerry Brown blamed President Trump for starting a war on California. But the fact is that California has waged a war, particularly on federal immigration laws and on American sovereignty for a long, long time. I started out my newspaper career in Los Angeles and saw at ground zero in the 1990s so many American citizens and law-abiding uh, citizens and residents residents of California uh, being crushed under the weight of the costs of illegal immigration. And of course, it wasn't just an economic security issue. It was a public safety and national security issue. And finally, finally, through so many other open borders administrations, both Democrat and Republican, we finally have a president who's serious about the most fundamental duty of government, which is to protect its citizens. And this mm -hmm. wall can not happen soon enough, Lou. Uh, it can't happen soon enough, and the president has made it clear that sanctuary cities, he's ordered the Justice Department to move against them, uh, and they are doing so. Uh, in fact, uh, sanctuary cities, the state of California is a sanctuary state. Uh, how soon do you think we're going to see a real response from California, uh, and do you think the president will prevail? I hope the president prevails. And uh, the fact that he is heading there, like I said, to ground zero, shows that he is keeping this most fundamental campaign promise uh, of his. And I think that we're going to see the, the craziness of the resistance. They, they had been very quiet. Uh, and there have been a lot of, of security measures in place at the site where these eight prototypes have been built. So far, there hasn't been any kind of, of civil disobedience. Um, but look, I mean, we have seen the violence of so many of the worst of the ne never Trumpers and that kind of extremism. Uh, so I hope that, uh, you know, I hope that our president is is well protected. In terms of, of consequences, I have said that lawsuits like the one that Jeff Sessions announced last week are really only the start. And it isn't until we finally see many of these racketeers, these colluders among government officials, I'm talking about the sheriffs and the police chiefs, the mayors like Libby Schaff in Oakland, and yes, the attorney general, Xavier Becerra, and the governor himself, these people yeah. need to be threatened with criminal prosecution. We haven't seen that yet. And uh, the audience of this uh, broadcast, we brought that question to them, and they answered more than 90 percent, saying they should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Michelle, always great to see you. Thanks for being with us here tonight. Michelle Mullen. Thank you, Lou.